Hi, my name is Carter Burden. I am a mechanical apprentice first year at Grove Systems in Bluffton, Ohio, and I am a freshman at Road State College. When I first came to Grove on the high school tour, I was very excited and I saw the opportunities. Our basic training consists of a mechanical and electrical rotation. We might come in with the mindset of being more mechanical and then after basic training, um, figuring out that electrical might be more of our strong suit. Grobe, they help and they're with us all the time, talking to roads and figuring out our classes and everything so we don't have to um, stress about it. My favorite thing about the apprenticeship so far is um, the ability to go to college and work, also being able to run um, big machines like the mills and the lays and stuff like that. I think some people are more hands-on and then some people are more in the classroom wise. Uh, with working at Grobe Systems and uh, Road State College, you get the best of both worlds. The things in school that you do is uh, very important to being an apprentice. Good grades and attendance um, is at school is very crucial. Having a good, uh, hardworking mindset and um, having the willingness to learn is also a very important thing to have. Hi, I'm Ayaka Koga and I'm an apprentice at Grove Systems and a freshman at Road State College. Our work day doesn't start till seven. We come in and we clock in and then we go to wherever we're working that day. All the uniforms are provided. They also provide us with lunch and it's not like cafeteria food that you get at like high school. It's like really good food. So as a first year apprentice, we mostly stay in the apprenticeship area getting a good knowledge base and theory base on how to work on all the machines that are on the shop floor. My first impression when I was thinking about working at a factory was that it would be greasy and dirty and like things would be everywhere and kind of disorganized. But Grobe is very different in that aspect. It's very clean and it's really organized. Everything is really organized and neat. During the basic training on the electrical side of things, um, we got to wire up these circuits from a print. So you learn how to read the print and then you apply that knowledge into actually wiring the circuit up. And so then you got to see it go from a piece of paper to a system that actually works. Watching that when you press this button, these two lights flash on two times and then turn off. I knew nothing coming in absolutely nothing about uh, the mechanical side or the electrical side and now I have a far more basic knowledge on things that I never thought that I would have. They're not just telling you what to do, they're telling you why you're doing it and it's not like a big deal if I make a mistake, they actually encourage you to try new things and make mistakes because that's how you learn. And then it's just really fun, it's really cool. Hello, my name is Caden. I'm a second year electrical apprentice at Grobe Systems. I use much of my knowledge and skills I learned at Rhodes to interpret into my daily work schedule. With what I've learned at Rhodes, I've been able to start working on projects such as this spindle hydraulic clamp test stand. I added the electronic components and wiring using an electrical diagram. Coming into the apprenticeship, I didn't know how to read an electrical print or how any of the components worked, but now I feel comfortable reading and using the components. Not only did I learn from this project, it will also benefit the company as it will be used in our spindle room to test our spindles that will go into the machines. Hey, my name is Jacob Oakley. Uh, I'm a second year apprentice here at Grove Systems as well as a second year student at Road State College. So in our second year, we get to rotate to every different field here in the plant and we'll figure out what we like and what we don't like, and what we're good at and what we're not good at. So my advice to a high schooler that's trying to make a decision on what they want to do with their lives is look into apprenticeships near you. We get our school paid for, then finding this opportunity where I could you know, split my week and do school and work and get it paid for is, you can't beat that. The professors I work with at Rhodes are really specialized in their field. Um, if there's things I don't understand here, I can go to them and learn, and they can explain it to me in a different way than what they would here. Um, we work on a little slightly different machines there, so we're more versatile on what we might see and what we're experienced with. It's a really good opportunity, and I don't really think there's anything that can beat it.